Number seven ministries. The spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news. Hello, welcome to Number 7 Ministries Christian Outreach. Today's short sermonette is called, Don't Forget Where You Came From. God gave me this message and showed me that a lot of times His children will receive favor. His children will receive benefits just because they are His child. God can give us ideas, He can give us wisdom, and in doing that, He can cause us to prosper in the natural, in the spiritual, mentally, emotionally, physically, our health, everything. God can bless all areas of our life. But the question is, when He does that, when He brings us out of addictions, when He brings us out of hardship, do we remember the state that we were in before God helped us? Or do we forget where we came from? Right now, I'm sitting in an RTA bus bus stop next to this garbage can and I guess the reason why I'm using this background is to remind myself and to remind the viewers where did you start from did you start off driving around in a Cadillac did you start off with your license and with your car and a house and a white picket fence or did you start off in the gutter in the bottom of the barrel on the edge of suicide bound in addiction and sin and then God took a miserable wretch like us and cleaned us up and saved us because that's where God, that's what God did for me. That's where he brought me from. When I got saved, everything was not going good. In fact, it was the opposite. Everything was going bad. I was getting ready to kill myself. I was in a prison cell and I cried out to God as my last hope, my last option to help me in this situation. And he did. He's done many things since then and I could not even possibly repay him back other than thank him and not forget where he brought me from. Now I know Apostle Paul says, forgetting the things that are behind and looking to the things that are forward, but I wanna mention and take in proper context what Apostle Paul was talking about. Apostle Paul was saying, don't live in the past to the extent that it stops you from growing in the future. Apostle Paul was not saying that we have to forget our testimony, forget all the addictions that God has delivered us from, forget the hell that God has saved us from. No, we're not supposed to forget that. And I believe to the extent that we forget that and we forget where God has brought us from, I believe that is the point where we spiritually die. So we need to humble ourselves and remember not to look down on other people who know less than us, not to look down on people who might not be free as we are free, but to humble ourselves and thank God every day and remember where he's brought us from. I want to read this Bible verse. It's in Exodus chapter 16 verse 11 and 12 and it says and the Lord spoke unto Moses saying I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel speak unto them saying and even ye shall eat flesh and in the morning you shall be filled with bread and you shall know that I am the Lord your God see God was tired of the murmurings and the complainings that the Israelites were doing against Moses. But Moses said, the murmuring and the complaining that you're doing is not against me, it's against the Lord, our Lord. That's who you're complaining against. And the first sign that we've forgotten where we came from is when we start to complain about what we do have or what we don't have. When we start to complain about other people, rather than complaining, why don't we look at all the benefits and the blessings that God's given, given us and be thankful for those and thank God for that because it could always be worse. The second sign that you can know where you've forgotten where you've came from is when you stop giving credit to those in your life who have helped you in your spiritual journey. When you start taking all the credit for all of your prosperity, whether it be mentally, financially, educationally, you take all the credit for, you, for where you are in life and you forget about all the people that God sent to you in your life to help you out. That's a second indication that you've forgotten where you came from. And I'm gonna read Genesis chapter 40, verse 23. Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, 
but forgot him. The chief butler was suffering in prison, and he didn't know what his future was. And God used Joseph to interpret his dreams, to interpret the dreams that he had to give him comfort. Joseph was there for him in his time of need. But then when God allowed the chief butler to get out of prison and get out of his situation, the Bible says that he forgot all about Joseph. And so my question is, do we forget about all the people in our life that God has used to help us? Whatever success that I could ever claim in this world and in this life, spiritually, naturally, it's because God has sent many people to me to help me. And I thank God for those people, and I never want to forget them. The next Bible verse that I would like to read is 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 4. For it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned away that his wives turned away his heart after the gods and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God and as was the heart of David his father see Solomon was surrounding himself by women that were unbelievers they weren't saved they didn't know the Lord they had false gods and they were heathens and when we get to the point that we confide more in unbelievers than we do believers that is the third indication that we've forgotten where we've come from God bless you and have a wonderful day Number seven ministries, the Spirit of the Lord is on me.